Hi everyone, it is Elmer, and in this video I will be doing the tutorial for my new LEGO vacuum engine. So, if you might have already seen the short that I made of running this engine, you will already know how it runs. But I will be running it right now as a demonstration, and then we'll get to the tutorial. So this engine, it is quieter than the butterfly engine, but it turns over more freely. It does not run quite as fast as the butterfly as well. But that's probably because it does not have a piston. And I'll explain how it all works at the end of the video. Anyways, let's get to the demonstration, then the tutorial. So that is how this engine runs. Let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take a base plate and then a one by six and a one by four brick of any color. Colors do not matter in this build whatsoever. And just put them in line like so. Do that four, now do that again, exactly four bumps over or four bumps in between them. So put another one by six and a one by four, and make sure that there's four bumps in between them. You're gonna want to do that three times, and you can use different lengths of bricks as long as it adds up to being 10 bumps long. So you're gonna build it up three layers tall. Next thing you're going to want to do is take two two by fours, two of them, and put them side by side, right there and right there. Then you're going to want to take two two by threes and stack them up and put them right there. Then you're going to want to take two more stacked up two by threes put them beside those ones. Next, you're going to want to take three two by fours stacked up. So it's three of these just stacked up and put them there. Next, you're going to want to take, um, where's the piece? There it is. I couldn't find this piece. A one by one with a hole in it and a reasonably long axle. So I'm using this axle that has a little cap on the end so it doesn't slide through. Put the axle through or one by one if it has a cap. Then take four gears and put them on, but leave a slight amount of room. Don't tighten it right up, but just leave that little bit of room. Even less than that, but just so that the Gear does not rub as much. And then it can spin more freely. So you're gonna grab three more gears, so there should be four in total, and just put them on the axle. And it should spin freely. If it doesn't, then you have the gears way too tight against the one by one. Then you're gonna wanna take a second one Put it over and then put it over this four bumps from this end. So four bumps from the end that has the one by fours and not the one by three. So this end should be two blocks thick. This one should be three. Put it four bumps away from the one that's too thick. So it should look like that. Then you're gonna to wanna to take two one by fours and put them there and there. Then you're gonna want two one by sixes, two of these, 
and put them. No, nope, never mind. Put one of them across the back here, and then put two one by fours there and there. Then you're gonna want to take another one by four and put it here. Next, what you're gonna to want to do is take a one by two that has two holes in it, and on this side, the side that the gears are further from, put it in the middle. Then take two one by ones, or one by twos in my case, and just put them on either side of it. One by ones will work if you put them on either side too. I just don't really have any, so I'm using one by twos. Then you wanna put one by sixes on either sides of that. Then two one by fours. And then you want on the side that the gears are closer to, that does not have this piece, a one by four gap. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take a six by eight plate Put it on the back and then a two by six and put it on the front there and then stack up two two by sixes put them on top of there and then just stack up a few or in the, by a few I mean four stack up four two by fours and just put them in front no three two by fours put them in front of there no it's two two in front there so that is how you build this engine I hope you found this tutorial helpful now I'm gonna explain how it works so basically when the vacuum pulls air from there the air is coming in from here and exiting through here and it in doing so it's flowing over top of the gears which is making them spin which will turn the engine over also you need to add a flywheel once you have the walls done slide the flywheel on and so there will be air coming out of here and going this way and it will flow over top of those gears make them spin anyways i hope you found this tutorial helpful please like share subscribe and we will see you in the next one bye